the current that flows through a component is determined by the resistance of the component and the potential difference across it. As an equation, that is, potential difference is equal to the current multiplied by the resistance. And as symbols, that is V equals I times R. This is also known as Ohm's law. The units of potential difference are volts, the current is measured in amps, and the resistance is measured in ohms. A component has a resistance of 1 ohm if the potential difference across it is 1 volt when 1 amp of current flows through it. Let's have a look at an example using this equation. When the resistance of a variable resistor is set to 15 ohms, the current through it is 0.2 amps. Calculate the potential difference across the resistor. So for the first step, let's write down the key information and check the units. The resistance is 15 ohms, and the current through the resistor is 0.2 amps. We want to calculate the potential difference across the resistor. For step two, let's substitute into the current resistance formula to calculate the potential difference. The potential difference is equal to 0.2 amps multiplied by 15 ohms, and that gives us three volts of potential difference. Let's have a look at another example. An electric heater has a potential difference of 230 volts when a current of 5 amps flows through it. Calculate the resistance of the heater. So once again for the first step, let's write down the key information and check the units. The potential difference is 230 volts. The current that flows through it is 5 amps and we want to calculate the resistance of the heater. For step two, we want to rearrange the current resistance formula to make resistance the subject. We can do that by dividing both sides of the equation by the current, and that gives us resistance is equal to the potential difference divided by the current. Then for step three, all we need to do is substitute into the rearranged formula to calculate the resistance. The resistance is equal to 230 volts divided by 5 amps, and that gives us 46 ohms of resistance. Thanks for watching. If you want to take your GCSE revision to the next level, head over to launchpadlearning.com and check out our smart learning platform that's been designed to get you top results in your exams. We cover your whole specification and make revision fun with interactive quizzes, easy to follow videos and more. You'll be kept motivated by your own AI tutor who's here to support you every step of the way. To check it out for yourself, click here. Or click here to keep watching a selection of the videos from our full GCSE physics course. See you there.